Hey friends, I am sure you clicked on this video for the common goal of learning how to create viral dropshipping ads for Facebook, TikTok and Instagram Reels. Well, this video is for you. It is a great goal for me to show you how to create viral videos for e-commerce, either Shopify, Amazon, dropshipping, etc. Trust me, you want to stay to the end of this video because at the end of this video, you're going to be learning how to create ads that have made close to a million, more than a million just by doing simple tricks i'm going to be showing you right about now i'll try my best to be as educative as possible because i know a lot of you pay 150 to about 500 per drop shipping ads video ads to be specific and in this video i'm just going to go out and show you the process by which I create most of these ads and how you can create eye converting video ads for yourself instead of paying those high amounts per one single ad. There are times you might want to test multiple products and you need a lot of ads videos. So imagine you putting aside $200 per video and maybe you want to test five, that is about $1,000. So think about it if you add one thousand dollars to spare on your ad budget that will give you more time to test right so yeah we're just going to show you how to do it yourself it's not complicated in fact it's super easy if you follow the tips and, and trick i am about to share now so thanks for joining in thanks for clicking i'll advise you if you don't want to burn your money then you want to watch this video to the very end now let's go into the very important tips and trick our advice get your pen and paper with your cup of coffee or tea popcorn cookies whatever keeps you comfortable because we are about to dive in into a very wonderful course now let's talk about the tips and trick you must consider for a good viral drop shipping video ads editing and creation one find at least 10 yes you heard me well find at least 10 ugc content of this particular product and the product for me i'm going to be using is the amakul fan and i would prove to you that i'm not just saying it i am also doing it as you can see this you see says amaco ad video materials as you can see i have file size of almost 30 mb so if i open it for you you can see a lot a lot of these materials are here text the product people using it very important okay you want to have all those things in there the second thing you want to have which i'm going to be showing you I'll go to my browser is ensure your script ensure your script is super super interesting let your script get the attention of the viewers straight from the beginning okay yes my internet might be having some faults right about now but that's just not button to happen so i'm just gonna pause it come back and we'll continue from there so as you can see this is my script yes i use chat gbt and even the free version to get this done but the very important thing is you want to give it as much information as possible things like about the product the futures the catching futures are the most important ones you want to ensure the futures are there okay and at the end you want to keep that very important rule i'm going to be talking about in the next step the next tip and trick to create a viral drop shipping video ad for your 
TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and the rest. So as you can see my script, you can pause it. I don't want to read over the script again and make the video longer. That's not the aim. So you can pause it, go over it and just read. But what I simply did was to add about the product. All right. And then after I did that, I also added a little bit about futures. As you can see the battery life and the rest. I did that and it came up with this script you see right about here. Take a close look, read the intro because I'm going to play it for you right about now. And you see, yes, indeed, I used this script. Now, the other thing you want to ensure you do is to make sure your video is between 45 seconds to 55 seconds nothing longer so if you have it longer try to make it faster try to cut out some excess just make it sharp fast pace not extremely fast pace let them understand what you're talking about let them understand what the product is about that is the most important thing but you want to make it fast pace and just get it to 45 seconds to 55 seconds if it's one minute just reduce the speed after you've exported then you come back into cap cut and reduce the speed a bit it won't be too fast and then that will be too slow i hope that is fine next and final step i would like you to consider leaving this page because we don't need this page again i've told you how to do the script i showed you the script you can pause and just copy the script i'm not hiding anything for you this is going to be a series so if it's something you could enjoy let me know in the comments and I'll make more videos with different products. And if you have a particular product you want me to make ads for to see how it is done, then let me know. But if not, I will be bringing out different products which I've sold that I made ads for. All right. So the next important step, I'm going back to my folder again, is pop up text. Create catchy pop up text. You can do that in photoshop you can do that in canva you can use online tools to create text there are a lot of tools i'm going to be putting some down in the pinned comment you can use and you can use them for yourself as you can see this is one of them and we can go on you see to show this is one i made for this ad specifically you can see amako stroller fan right so that is it let's get straight to the video right so now i'm going to be importing i don't need this again so now i'm just going to be importing all my elements into this file yes i already have the recordings already the voiceover and if i forget your voiceover should be good remember you want to make it a catchy voiceover so i'm going to be bringing all this file into cap cut and you see there's some footage i'm going to be using those footage i got them from i got them from pictory yes you got them from pictory so you can actually get pictory for yourself it makes life easier when you're looking for some specific footage it makes life super easy and not complicated at all okay so i'll do ctrl a here usually i should be able to bring in folders but if i can bring in folders then definitely i should be able to highlight all usually i don't I don't like to use the folders. I'll, I'll be truthful with you. I just like to pick in my files one after the other. Okay, so I have the voiceover, which I'm going to be bringing in right about now. It's the first file I'm going to be bringing in. As you can see, it's 55 seconds. I remember from our tips, um, 52 seconds in our tips video, the tips section we just watched, I said not more than 55 seconds so this is a good one yeah and this is where the magic starts to happen 
But before then, remember our ad is for Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. So this dimension you see here might not just be the very best. So what are we going to do about it? We are going to make it a 16 by 9. So to do that, I'm going to hit on ratio. And I'm going to make it a... 9 by 16 not 16 by 9 it's currently 16 by 9 9 by 16 and this is what we we'll have remember we're going to be going back and forth so i will ask that you follow me trust me you're going to save a lot of money when you do this so just follow me as we go ahead i would like to increase this okay i'd like to increase this bar a bit why am i doing that because i want to know where every every stop and pause for instance if i go on to play this part for you this is where it stops so let's play it am a cool battery okay as you can see so it says am a cool battery okay the am a cool battery operated stroller fan six okay stroller fan so you can just reduce it to where you're comfortable with you can play from this part where it says introducing the amicool battery operated stroller fan okay so that will be the first point so now we can just cut that out or not cut it out just ctrl b to split that part so now we are it said introducing the amicool stroller fan right so now we're going to find a footage to match that and uh, we're just going to put in a good stroller fan yes we have a video we're going to bring this video in and we're going to cut from it okay so we're bringing this video in as you can see it has a square shape don't worry about that we are going to make that bigger so to, to make it bigger, we'll just drag it out like so. Okay. And then we move it like this. But for me, I'm just going to find not the stroller. Obviously, I'm not looking for the stroller. I'm looking for where she placed the stroller just here. Where it comes in from the top. Perfect comes in from the top like that and i'm gonna just put it in there so i'm gonna cut this again ctrl b okay so i'll just cut there okay so once you once you press on your b you have this blade you see can you see the blade yes you have that blade once you're done just press a to go back to this part so i'm gonna move this up okay so we just take it to where it stops here good so you see it's, it's, it's actually showing the stroller it's actually showing the stroller so that is very important you want it to show the stroller so i'm just going to do b again and cut here i'm just going to cut at this point then you do you press on your a to get it back so now we have that so we can just put this aside okay all this footage you just move them aside we must we'll use them again so we just want to put it aside so it says introducing okay so we we'll just play that right i'm gonna make sure the audio is low for you guys to see all right so introducing the amical battery operated stroller thing as you can see it has a a bit of voice over in there you can leave that if you want and you can take that out if you want but for me i mean i don't need it i'm going to be putting my own background music so i'm going to take that out and i will advise you to do that same thing too take it out you don't need it we are going to be using it later take it out for all the footage so you don't have to repeat this step over and over again 
yes how did i find this footage you can actually find it from the product website and from examples because most times when you want to promote a product they are already selling that product for you they are already advertising the product to you so definitely they already have a video but you want to make your video from their video that's the aim so as you can see this is the beginning introduce. introducing the amicool battery oper okay so now we'll just move to this point and once it mentions the name that's where we want to add the text introducing the M good so at this point we want to bring in our first text don't worry we can move that up and move that like this. so so now let's move this okay So now we have it, as you can see, it's quite long, so we're just going to reduce it. Okay, I'm going to show you a cool part to just keep this animation going. Okay, so this way it says introducing the Amaco solar fan. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use, I don't just want it to come in like that. So I'm going to move it to the side like so. And I'm going to click on transform keyframe. I'm going to be using a lot of keyframe here. And I will just move a bit, not just a bit like so. And I'm just going to move it in like that. Okay. Just like that. And if we go back and play it again, like I said, we'll be, we'll be doing a lot of playback because that's the only way you get a perfect video that catch attention. So let's play it again. Introducing the Amacool battery. Okay, so you saw the way it came in and now we can do some cool things with it. We already have that. We can just hit, use this positioning and scaling, just hit down in positioning. You see it creates another keyframe. You can just do that. Okay, you can just push it down a bit and also move a little bit to the front and just again take it back up all right like that so now you can see the text is actually blocking the fan a bit we can just move that text down and make it smaller all right on go forward then we can just bring it down bring it down be careful you make sure you're selecting the image itself and you can now reduce it okay you can now reduce it and have it there like so so we have it there right so now as you can see the the movement between my keyframe are quite close to each other because i want it to happen fast if you want it to happen slower then you should definitely make it slower so i'm just gonna move it again okay i'm not moving it too much i'm just making sure it's moving around a bit and then at this point it can go out or you can leave it there still creating that effect of it moving okay so for this one i would just i can w once again just take it out or if i delete this keyframe to delete the keyframe you need to click on the keyframe you delete that keyframe like that's deleted i can take it out again just where the scene was about to change okay so let's just delete that keyframe delete all right so we can take it out so you see how we do that now and from here as you can see we'll do that from here okay i'm sure you watch it you want to learn you want to save a lot of money you don't want to be watching this video bit by bit so 
from here we have it here we just wait for it to okay so with this we're just gonna take it out cool so we created that then we bring it back in again once it's yes so yeah yeah we're just gonna drag back in and our text is there again and then we make the movement as usual just those quick up and down movement just keep their eyes glued to the product and the name and for instance someone is using it there this video is going to be fun and at the end of the day you're going to love it okay so now that we have that we want to add a like a lightning effect or something so you come to effect okay and the effect we want it to once it has appeared good this is where we want it to be so we want to just add the effect to we'll find a cool effect we can add to this for me i want that lightning strike effect okay so just this one all right okay so it can be this one or it can be another one depending on what you want so for me if it's not too elaborate like let's play it and see let's play it and see the amicool battery operated stroller fan okay so you might not want this because you're talking about a fan so you might just find something better or cooler it's totally up to you what you want you might just want that shake okay or yes we can use this particular one okay so we can just use this and we reduce this we don't want it moving into the next scene so if we just play it from beginning this is what we now get Let's introducing the amicool battery operated stroller fan say goodbye to sweaty uncomfortable rides for your little one with its flexible tripod legs okay so now the next one goodbye to sweaty uncomfortable so it says, says goodbye to sweaty and uncomfortable so now we want to look for a baby who is crying okay we want to look for a baby who is crying all right let's see if we can find any so this is where i bring in my other clip the other clip i have is at the top okay a very uncomfortable baby right all right once again this clip has audio so we get the audio out okay we'll just move this away So with this, it has some little text we don't want on the image. So I'm going to fix that right now because definitely I don't want that image. But you can see there's a very uncomfortable baby we want to fix. So we're just going to do Ctrl B. All right. I'm going to do Ctrl B. And we can bring this on like that. Okay. So now we have the baby. So we can once again increase it to fill the screen. So this is sweaty and uncomfortable, right? So if we play it from the beginning, we just show a baby crying. All right. Show a baby crying. 
and then we can work from here. So let's play it and see. Let's play it from here and see. Say goodbye to sweaty, uncomfortable rides for your little one. Okay, so we can. Uncomfortable rides for your little one with its flex. Okay, so now we're going to cut from here again. So we're going to do Ctrl B. And we're also going to cut from here. So for this, I'm going to be doing something unique. Remember we had a clip. Remember we had a clip of a baby in the stroller, right? I'm sure you remember that clip. So we're going to re revisit that clip again and make it fun. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do that first. Let's do Control B here. And once again, we are going to move this out like so. Okay. So we are going to move this. Okay. Remember, you want to untick all this. Try to make clip one untick that. So we just need a bit of the be where the baby was crying here okay so we are going to split from here when he turned his face a bit all right so ctrl b please pay attention this is not complicated trust me super easy before you know it we're done and we have our video ready for us uh, cool video so remember the stroller so we just move that a bit so we can see only the stroller right okay okay i think this is not the one right so we bring in a stroller fan this is the one with the stroller i want to just look like okay so let's from here so we just cut from here ctrl b we take that out and we'll bring this just here like so okay so you can see it's a bit long so we'll just reduce it to match that we don't want that end part Okay, so if we go and play it now. Say goodbye to sweaty, uncomfortable rides for your little one. Okay, of comfortable ride. So now I think I have a test for one of these parts. So I'm just going to scroll and find that text. Okay. Alright, so if this part does not have a text, comfortable, I think there was a comfortable ride. Alright, so if we don't have that, you can, uh, we just play it from here. Strollers, cribs, car seats, and more keeping your okay and more so from here we'll cut ctrl b all right so now i'm just going to bring in the images as it has mentioned car seat strollers okay so we're just going to bring all of them in here have a lot of that I have a lot of that so I'm just gonna find I'm just gonna bring in images okay I 
just gonna bring in images just and you can emanate this one all right so we we'll just go to amnation all right so we'll just amnate this here okay so we can use this stroller okay what again cribs stroller cribs so we can just keep doing this adding different elements all right you can add the car here make it bigger like so all right crib let's play car seat and more okay so let's add one more let's add our image right we'll find one more image to add to this Definitely, we should be able to find. This is why you need a lot of these images. Okay, so we have one more here. Okay. With me, while I do this, I want to always make sure everything sits well. So we just add that. Cars. So we're just gonna make it wider like that and remember we don't want it to be more than VAT so we're just gonna reduce all of them like that it should not overlap their boundaries all right because we're gonna be putting some things in there okay so we're just going to adjust that accordingly. Once again, this is just me showing you how to do it yourself. All right. So now let's play what it says from here. Let's play what it says from here. Keeping your baby cool and happy wherever you go. Keeping your baby cool and happy wherever you go. Right so we are going to come in again and just take from this image all right so let's play it and see how long it takes keeping your baby cool and happy wherever you go with yeah. So cut here again. We wanna cut here again, control B. And then we wanna cut where yeah, she's just strolling casually. Casually I'm walking. Okay. So let's control B. So we have that there. And we can make that a little bit slower so that it's slow motion in the frame. Just to increase it to make sure it meets this line. Alright. So we'll come to speed. Okay. Uh, we'll just increase it. Uh, reduce it. 
all right so let's reduce it a bit again we'll just do that cool so we have it here we can just all right match it like so so now that we have it matched up we'll move on to the next step we are almost done well before we move on i think there was a place where it said cool and rest so let's play it baby cool and happy wherever cool and happy right okay so we're back again and let's continue so where we stop was with this 365 if i'm not wrong okay okay let's play it and see with 360 degree okay with 360 degree so now i'm gonna put in just a little graph okay just a little graph showing 365 360 degree okay so let's find that all right so this is where this is where we'll cut from once again we're gonna do control b all right here yeah. so we'll cut it out from here once more control b so now I'm just going to lift this and bring it here. Perfect. And then I'm just going to scale it. All right. So I'll just scale it like that. Usually I want it to cover the whole frame like that. So there are two ways to it. We can either leave it this way. Okay. And then you want to come down. Usually you find auto frame. Or auto key re reframe. Sorry. Then cover. So you see it says none so we can put this where it says canva you can do blur okay you can do blur so you have that extra ba background you can make it totally black there so now instead of just having the black box which would not be professional for us we now have this okay so from this to this and now we're going to come over again and look for where we had uh, mounting it and turning it okay she was mounting and turning it so let's just start from there so we're going to do ctrl b sorry ctrl b all right so let's where yeah, she turned it put it on and she turned it okay good so now we need that control b again so now we can bring that in like so all right so we're just going to increase this a bit won't be doing that too much so let's get back up so from this we we'll scroll back up come to speed let's move this a bit and let's just work with this so let's just increase it a bit but that's reducing we're supposed to increase it a bit uh oh sorry about that okay okay so perfect so let's bring it back in here like so and we follow it with this cool image of the nice mom setting things up properly All right so now let's play it and let's play it from here 
with 360 degree rotation and th sorry about that again my mistake get out that audio we don't want to make that mistake for a fifth time so i apologize again so we just get that audio out like i said we don't want the audio from any of this we just want our voice over audio so let's play it again 360 degree rotation and three adjustable speeds you can customize okay so okay as you can see we sh it showed what we did not want so we'll do control b and we'll get that out as simple as that and we'll bring this in again adjustable speeds you can custom all right so don't worry about what is showing at the top here as you can see it's some clip so ensure that clip is not disturbing you right some clips might just be where we don't want it to be okay So now we have that perfectly placed here. So now we can go back and continue from where we stopped, right? Three systems. Plus, it's rechargeable. Okay. So we it says plus. Okay, so we just want to get this to that point. So now we want it says rechargeable. So we want it. Right, so once again, control B. And we get it in here. So you can see how we are going from using one clip to using our own clip right so it says rechargeable so you can do it in two ways for this it just has a black box so we can bring that down okay like so okay just make sure it's in the middle perfect and now rechargeable and portable we want to bring that in okay okay i want to make sure this is where the clip stop, right? So we are going to split that again. Control B, get the SS out. We don't need that SS. Make sure the text is perfectly placed. Okay. So at the beginning of this rechargeable. Okay, just when it says rechargeable, I want this to fly in there. So once again, we're going to scale this and just move a bit like that and just move this here. And then usually you do some smoothening and rest bar. For me, I just want it to be super easy for you guys to understand and Okay, so now we have that Hold on, let me pop it back So we back again 
So with this one, I'll just move it and let's play it from here. Plus, it's rechargeable and portable. Per you, you saw that part moved, so perfect. Perfect for trips to. All right, so this is where you get extra creative, and this is the part I love about when I edit. I love this part so much. So this part says perfect for trip to the park. Let's play it and listen. Perfect for trips to Disneyland, the zoo, or the park. Perfect for the trip to the zoo, to Disneyland, the zoo, or the park. So I'm going to do something unique here. Okay. I'm going to do something super unique here. First, let me find my zoo picture, right? So, as you can see, we are getting close to the end, right? We're getting close to the end, so let's find our... So this is Disneyland. For this, I'm not going to increase the length. I'm just going to show you something unique. So let's do Control B. All right. So we got that out. So this, this Disneyland. And this is the park. So to make sure we have the perfect cut, I'm going to teach you something new. You press down your Shift key button and your right mouse click so that you move frame by frame as you can see that's one frame so you can just cut here okay so if we cut that control b okay I made it a bit bigger because I want to increase the speed. I'll reduce the speed so that it's bigger. We want space, so I'm going to do shift key again. Okay, one, two, three. So that's where it got out, right? Remember, there's a clip beneath it. We don't want that clip, so let's just get that clip out. So it does not mess with our current edit. Once again, I move a keyframe backwards. And I can just let that slide. So what I'm going to do with this clip is I'm going to come to Max. And I'm going to use this rectangle max as you can see i'm going to increase it so we have just the perfect image in it and then i'll move it to this point okay so now we have that there so now that's one point and i'm just going to move it downwards okay so we'll go back to basic if you do it this way ensure once you see this triangle and you're done with it you just go back to basics okay so that now you can move it downwards like that that's the first step we'll come to the next clip we want to place those clips on top of each other we want to place them on top of each other all right so it's not like we want them separate we want to place them on top of each other so we have the zoo here so let's do the shift key and we can cut that out ctrl b we delete shift key and then we have the pack right so we'll do ctrl b again so now we are going to move this up once again, let's see how much of the speed we increased here. 
0 0.7 so we're just going to do same thing with this clip we're going to do 0 0.7 for speed all right so 0 0.7 like that we're going to mark that also again video marks rectangle marks and we want to ensure okay so we want to ensure the rectangle marks is like that so to ensure we are not moving we we'll move this to basic As you can see it's a bit smaller than this so we go back to speed and just reduce it more okay so to just match it and you see how the effect i'm trying to create here as you can see we have two clips there now okay so now we have two clips playing all right so we'll go over and find if there is one more which is the pack right so let's see where the pack start from by doing the shift key so this is the pack for the pack it does not re need extra adjusting right so we'll just cut that the control b so we have the pack we'll do what we've already done with the very first two which is video max triangle max okay so we just put that in if you don't do it like this it's not gonna have that perfect shape we're trying to achieve so go back to basics and now we want to move it to the top of this clip like that so to the top i want to ensure every one of them match each other perfectly okay uh, ensuring they match yourself perfectly so for this we'll move it there too okay so let's see it okay so for the pack we'll move it up like so okay so we can just move this to we can make it wider like that so now and we'll reduce this to match up with that point okay so if we go and for instance we we'll play from here so you can see how it appears perfect for trips to disneyland the zoo or the park and don't worry you see okay so i'll do control i want the first second and third clip to match perfectly okay so i want them to match perfectly so we have that we'll play it again let's play from here well and portable perfect for trips to disneyland the zoo or the park and don't, and don't forget worry about little finger okay so where it says and don't worry about little fingers i have a clip for that you know i have a clip for everything like i said so this is the little finger we're talking about we're talking about protection here okay safety in mind okay So do 
Okay, so this is where I want to cut from. Control B. Right. So now I'm just going to move this and bring it in here. Okay. I'll delete it. I don't need that. So just bring in this clip. Okay. So let's just play it and see. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so what this control control B okay control B So let's move this forward and get this clip out. So you can see why they charge you a lot. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to make a lot of mistake. But trust me, once you know what you're doing, you're going to make the perfect video. So for this, I'll just play it from here. I like to see my audio track, so let's play it from here. Disneyland, the zoo, or the park, and don't worry about little fingers. Our fan cover. Okay, so don't worry about little fingers. So I'm just going to increase this again or reduce a bit. And I'll play from here. The zoo. Or the park, and don't worry about little fingers. Our f so pause this and back again. Yeah, let's continue. So, yeah, we do. Or the park, and don't worry about. So now we have this, uh, we can bring in safety in mind. And once again, we can take that up. And I will just add keyframing and bring that in. Like so. Okay. So let's just put that like that. And we'll play it. This is what we'll get. And don't worry about little fingers. Our fan cover is de designed with safety in mind. Safety in mind. With okay. So I'm going to increase the safety in mind. And I'll bring in some other images of fun. Okay. Now before then, I think I have an image of the fan being used. I'll move this forward. And then I'll bring this in here. Okay. I'll bring this image here. And make it a little bit wider. Once again, go to animation and give it some zoom in effect. Okay. 
Cool. Okay. I think I have another one where it was in a park. Okay, so we we'll just make sure we try to mix it the height. Okay. So let's just split from here. The zoo or the park. And don't worry about little fingers. Our fan cover is designed with safety in mind. Okay. So we are good with that. We made the adjustment perfect for the sync in the audio. So let's see what we are with next. With durability. Okay. So with durability, usually I would like. Okay. Usually, I would just like, let me increase the speed of this a bit. So, I will just reduce that. So, with durability, I will just find more or someone falling it or something but if i don't find the image of that i can just come over and see if i find one okay durability Okay, let me bring this in. So from here I can cut Ctrl B and I'll just mix that up with Ctrl B again. And let's bring that here. But before then, I'll bring in some more images. All right, more images. Like this one. Can just bring it here. You just have to make it perfect. Just have to make it perfect. Okay. So now I can bring in this image here with some of its key f features. Once again, I think I have three, about three of this. I think I have about three of these, so what I'm going to do again is max it. I'm going to max it, so I'll just make it boxy. Alright. Sorry about that. So that's why we see once you get your right shape, or the right amount of... the right amount you want, you can just go out of it right now for this you can see we made it too small so let's make it like that then go to basics and we can drag that down again okay and we can bring in a second image of it and it should be so here okay this was the second pack image i was looking for I didn't see that, so let's just use this. All right, so can move this to the top. But it's best we max it, right? So let's max it. Okay, so let's just max it properly. Okay. 
go back to basics and we can take that to the top again okay so now we have those two playing together so i'm going to do something unique i'm going to add transform here and i would also add transform here so now what do i want to do as i move keyframe by pressing the shift key button on my right click button i want to scale for this while i scale for the second clip at the top too so we just keep moving scaling back and forth like that so it looks like it has that add bit if you notice this is a video whereby i have limited stocks but i'm still making one of the perfect videos and i'm sure you agree with me so don't be too bothered about not being able to achieve a lot just find at least 10 image and you can improvise find some stock cgi images and you can go on from there and just create something unique so let's play it from here Do you mind with durability and a 12 month warranty this fan is okay so a 12 month so we have a 12 month warranty i think i have a it looks why is it looking like most of my text are missing 12 month warranty it's not missing okay so for this 12 month warranty i'm just gonna do some cool effect like i did in the first place so again transform keyframe i uh, will just bring that in okay and we're just going to do some scaling and scaling back we're almost done okay so now i'm just going to reduce that to the length of the video okay so let's play it and let's see what we are and a 12 month warranty this fan is built to last and for a limited time and for a limited time okay so you see and for a limited time so let's let's do this and for a limited time i think of a limited time well first let's find a video for that we don't need this video anymore so let's delete that okay so for a limited time I'm just going to find the beginning of that frame so we'll cut from here ctrl b okay so we'll do ctrl b again and now bring this in here once more okay if 
<clears throat> did I just bring in the wrong image? Yes, I just did that. And that's bad. Very bad. But well, we'll go again. Yes, this is the image I wanted. Alright, so always make sure you go through your image. And for this, I would like to reverse this image, so I'll just reverse it. So click on reverse. It's going to reverse that particular image. I don't want to waste your time. I'll pause it and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so it has reversed the image. And if we play it now from here. So it has reversed the image. And if we play it from here. Okay. For a limited time, take advantage of our buy to get. okay so for this i want to cut it where i say take advantage limited time take get advantage of our buy to get one free so i'll cut from here and we just Control sh shift and let's just cut from here control b and let's get this image out and move this closer okay so now that we have it there let's play it again always go back and forth and play time take advantage of our buy okay so take advantage of our buy two and get one free right mm -hmm. so let's let's find it limited time so let's find we says limited time limited time limited time okay So we'll just make it the same size. Once again, I'll take that out and I'll create that keyframe, transform keyframe, and I'll just bring it in like so. Once again, I'm going to do some a uh, feasy. That's what we'll call it here. So limited time. Okay, and at the end, I want the limited time to also go bigger, like that. All right, take advantage. All right. So now it says take advantage. what's going on there's a clip disturbing us at the top let's go find it don't think there is i don't think there is any clip so we do control b and get that out so it wants us to take advantage of buying two and getting one free so we're going to do a little trick here for this one i have two images um okay i have two images so first thing first I'll break in, I'll go to device, stock material, okay, I'm just going to open stock material, I'm looking for background, 
Okay. So I want maybe a white background like this. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to bring in the white background. I'll just make it bigger. So it fills the space. Let me get rid of this also so that it does not affect what we're about to do. So now we'll go back to our imports folder. Okay, device. Then now I want to bring in this fan. Alright. So now that this fan is in there, I'm now going to create a transform keyframe. Move it one keyframe and I'm going to move it down a bit like so I'm gonna reduce it okay like that I'm gonna go again one keyframe bring in the second image which is this okay I'm gonna add the transform keyframe again and this time I'll move it up okay and then I'll reduce it once more and just try to put it in the middle like so cool and now we're gonna go on from there put in the middle add a movie keyframe and just add a transform just run Yes, like that. So we reduce this too much in the clip. Just like that. So I'll come back to this one again. And I'll try to make it smaller. And I'll also move it down. Okay. So now I'm just going to play it back and wait for where I want to put in something very special. I do. Get one free pro. Okay. So where I say get one free. I have a different image for that, which is this. Okay. So this, I'm just going to take it out, create that transform, bring it in move a little keyframe give it that shake front and back like that since we are getting one free so you know i'm moving keyframe by keyframe by pressing my shift key button and my right click button so i'm just going to increase it again all right and now i'll add get one free okay so again out out like that this time let me make it come from the top transform get one free you always want to create incentives okay you want to get create incentives is super important that you always create incentives so I would move this a bit and just increase and again reduce okay so we are going to come back again 
Okay, where it appears and just put get one free. And for this, it's going to come out from here. Once again, I'm just going to move it in like that. And for this, we have the first keyframe. I will scale it up, increase the size. I want it to have that at beat effect so it looks like it's going down and up. Like that. I'll do it again two more times. And one bigger one. Okay. Get one free. And now I'm going to move it up like that. So now we have that. We have that, right? And it's perfectly placed. We don't want it to overlap, right? So let's see for how long it's there. Okay, so we can now reduce all to match the paper. Let's just play it and see where we need to stop it. Promo. Don't miss out on keeping your little one cool and comfortable this. Okay, so everything should be shot into this lens. Do same thing for this. Okay. Um, the black. All right, so we are almost done. Says don't miss out on keeping your loved one cool this summer. So we are just gonna find another image. Okay. So we can use this one to end it. Right. So we're just going to shorten this. Give it a little cut. Control B here. All right. And we're just going to place that there okay so do shift and we'll cut the control b again so now let's work with this first as you can see once again it's a little bit too rig so we'll just bring it in like that and so we have the two parents then a keyframe in i want to bring in this summer Okay. This summer. Okay. Once again, transform from top to bottom this time. Sorry, we're going to get this keyframe out. We're going to get a keyframe out because we're supposed to start from the bottom, right? Delete keyframe. Okay, so now we're just going to... We're just going to add a transform keyframe. Move one keyframe in. And we're just going to put that in the middle. This summer, right? 
And now that we have that, we are just going to come in again and cut from where we have this. And then we'll bring that in. Once again, increase this to where we have more than child in the image RP. And let's play it and hear what has to say. Summer, get your Amacool str Okay, get yours. Okay, so. All right, so we'll bring in the get again. And this time we'll reduce it. I will just put it somewhere here. So I'll bring it out once again, keyframe it and bring it in. Was that all? No, it's not. We're going to go one keyframe to the front and we're going to bring in one more image. This would work. And we are just going to make it smaller and just insert it there like so. And but for me, I'm going to start with it out of the frame. I'm going to start with it out of the frame and then in the frame. Sometimes you just need to reduce this to be able to hold on to your materials. So that's a cool trick you can learn. Okay. All right. So now we have that. We can just increase that back. All right. At this point, we don't need this extra clips we have here. We don't need this one either. We don't need this either and we don't need this too i'm sure you're enjoying this video so far and now you can see where it ends we want to also end everything there so let's do that so we click on this you can do it two ways either we make it faster Okay, that's one way. So we can make it faster, but ensure whilst you are doing that, it's not so. Your Amacool stroller fan today. Okay, you don't want it to be unnatural, so cool stroller fan. So from where it says get your get your so I'm just gonna add get your is it um a cool Okay, so I'm just going to add one more. And for this, I want it to come down. No, I want it to be up. Okay, so I'm just going to add a keyframe transform here. Just watch me as I do this part, control shift. Okay, so now we are in and now I can move this down a bit like this. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now let's just play it from here. Fuller fan today. Today. Okay. 
Okay. So it's perfect here. So all we need to do now is just reduce this. And also we want to reduce this. And last but not the least, we want to also reduce this. I would always advise you check. Always advise you check that you don't have SS clips you are not using. Okay. Very important that you don't have SS clips you are not using in frame. Or else it's going to render that too like this. We don't need it. So once we are sure we don't have any of that and we are ready to export we just go on and we are spotted but before then let's play it from the beginning so that you see it one more time introducing the amacool battery operated stroller fan say goodbye to sweaty uncomfortable rides for your little one with its flexible tripod legs this fan easily clips onto strollers cribs car seats and more keeping your baby cool and happy wherever you go. With 360 degree rotation and three adjustable speeds, you can customize the perfect breeze. Plus, it's rechargeable. Yes, you can customize the perfect breeze. I think I missed something there. You can custom. I missed something there. I think I have it there that say customize the perfect breeze. Okay, so we we'll just click click drop that in there. And just okay so I'll just allow this quickly scroll that's why you see we have to play all these things back and forth perfect breeze okay that's why we need to move this back and forth a bit just to ensure we don't miss out 18 or 2 when it comes to what we want okay all right so we have that let's just play from here you can customize the perfect breeze plus it's rechargeable and portable perfect for trips to Disneyland the zoo or the park okay it's like we had a little black background here Okay, yeah, just here we had a mini black background. So we can just bring in more images. I think I had one. Yes, this one. I can just bring in that to just complement that space. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's just complement that space. Okay, so let's Okay. Let's play from here. Chargeable and portable. Perfect for trips to Disneyland, the zoo, or the park. And don't worry about little fingers. Our fan cover is designed with safety in mind. With durability and a 12-month warranty, this fan is built to last. And for a limited time, take advantage of our buy two. Get one free promo. Don't miss out on keeping your little one cool and comfortable this summer. Get your Amacool stroller fan today. So we have the perfect video ready to export. Uh, we're just going to eat a spot. Okay. So I'll just do um, uh, cool. Add. So we're just going to hit a spot. You can see it's not complicated at all. 
you can decide to add background music if you want but be careful with your background music make sure it's copyright free matter of fact make sure all your images your pictures your as uh, something you can use or better so you just go to the main project fame uh, sorry project page and from there you can get videos they would definitely not report you or try to raise anything about your video because you are trying to promote their product and you are trying to get people to buy their product so that is safe so that's what i would advise you to do so now that you know how to do this all you need to do is just wait make your video export go test your video and i wish you all the best in your house store if you want me to do more videos like this create more ads like this drop drop shipping video editing apps like this definitely let me know down in the comment if you watch to the end let me also know down in the comment i really appreciate you guys who watch to the end you guys are the real g's the real fans and i say thank you thanks for watching this video i'll see you on the next one stay blessed i love you i 100 percent love you guys stay blessed Introducing the Amacool Battery Operated Stroller Fan. Say goodbye to sweaty, uncomfortable rides for your little one. With its flexible tripod legs, this fan easily clips onto strollers, cribs, car seats, and more, keeping your baby cool and happy wherever you go. With 360-degree rotation and three adjustable speeds, you can customize the perfect breeze. Plus, it's rechargeable and portable. Perfect for trips to Disneyland, the zoo or the park and don't worry about little fingers our fan cover is designed with safety in mind with durability and a 12-month warranty this fan is built to last and for a limited time take advantage of our buy two get one free promo don't miss out on keeping your little one cool and comfortable this summer get your amicool stroller fan today